So this is the weekly and daily cycle analysis for gold. And what I want to do is first pull up this weekly chart right here for you. So as you know, we have been looking for a key weekly low that was due to form and gold is finally showing some signs of life. Now it is very key for us to break through this high right here at 1738.70. That is the daily cycle high. And we do want to see gold get through that level. If so, it would open the door to this next level right here at 1782.20. If we shift over to this daily chart, you'll, you'll really see a very nice basing cycle. Now, prior to looking at that, first, see this very nice clarity here in 4 slash GC. It's really as clear as you are ever going to see. Now, we had a false break right there. Why is this a false breakdown? Well, first, you'll see how it traded. We had a quick look underneath that old low at 16.22.20, and then we had a close above it. Anytime you see that, you should be watchful for a false breakdown. That is what has happened here. And this is now forming a nice basing cycle here with a higher cycle low versus that old low. And then we would look for a move through that old high at 1738.70 that I just said on the weekly in that next rising phase. If that were to happen, it would confirm that we have formed a base here on this daily time frame and set up a likely nice rising phase here uh, in gold on the weekly. So this change in trend that we are seeing is really a function of this basing cycle that, that we see as the highest odds case in gold. Watch for just a mild dip down into this 1680 to uh, 1657 area, and then look for this to turn right back to the upside uh, here in gold. So if we were to get a, a modest flag here, we'll be watching for a long side trade idea for our Aslam level three and four members. Uh, so certainly a very interesting pattern and very key for this to be a mild flag and to not give up a whole lot of ground here.